Hi, today we are departing from the limited series format that I've been presenting for the past couple weeks. Why? Just so I can wish you a happy and safe 4th of July. That's right, one of the more fun holidays in my opinion. It's in the middle of summer, you meet up with friends, family, have food, have fireworks. It's a good old time, what more could you ask for? Well, being that 4th of July is on a damn Thursday this year, by the time you're watching this, I'll probably be at work and there's a fucking bug on my ear. Anyway, it's the weekend before, so me and my girlfriend are going to drive our happy asses into town and just meet up with some people and celebrate while we can. And while we're out and about, we're going to have some Smirnoff, red, white, and berry. Because what else will we try today? <gasps> Fuck it, let's try it. This is what happens when we want to go visit our dead friends. Yep, this is what we get. God damn it. You want to visit me? I'm putting the wrap on you. God, you can yeah. barely see the cars in front of us. Like, don't fucking come visit me, you bitch. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the Red, White, and Berry was originally released to coincide with the 2016 presidential election, which automatically makes me dislike it because politics are bullshit. Well, in honor of my fallen friend Dustin, cheers. Cheers, everybody. It's not bad. Overall, it's not too bad. It's very smooth, has no bite whatsoever, which is always a plus for me. The red, white, and berry says that it's cherry, citrus, and blue raspberry, and that's a that's a pretty good description. Honestly, not a bad taste. If you're trying to get <coughs> drunk and patriotic at the same time, you could do worse. Cheers to Ducky. Did I just spill some? Fucking spilled some. Cheers. It's fine until you take a big sip. <laughs> 